cornerback position shaking out with the at least four guys who are talking about really going at it hard? Well, it's been great competition, you know. I mean, it's been a lot of fun to watch, really, you know, great kids and guys. You know, you got veterans and young guys. And, um, you know, the reality, though, that none of that group has played a lot of, of football. So it's been great competition. And, you know, I think to this point, they've done a great job of, of what we're asking them to do. So it's been a lot of fun to watch. Has Reader learned everything now there is to, to know? <laughs> uh, he's getting there. Uh, you know, the, the blessing is he's a veteran. He handles it all. You know, I think that's the reality of it, uh, Randy. I, I think the thing you see is is that, um, you know, it may be the first time that he's seen some stuff. I mean, he's only into, what, 30 practices, 25 practices or whatever of the defense. So he, he's still learning, uh, but he handles it. Um, He's learned how to handle the situations, and it only you know, takes one time. And he's a good learner. He's, is it? What kind of a transition do you think it is for him? Oh, I think it's hard. I think yeah. anytime those guys come from another, you know, again, you've been set into a different situations, different terminology, different concepts. What are you trying to do? And you know, I, I think um, he's been able to sort it all out. I give him. He's got great patience. He's got a great football mind. Uh, and he, you know, he, he takes coaching. And, you know, when you do that, you surely have a chance to keep growing. Do you know any of the three previous defensive coordinators that he's had? Um, I don't. Off the yeah. top, I don't. Similar, I guess, also a challenge, Darian Porter being in the mix at cornerback. What's his learning curve been like? Oh, he's been awesome. Position? You know, I mean, moved him over there in the spring. He played all the special teams, you know, so he's got toughness about him. He can really run. Um, you know, he's created all the you know, same thing. Like he's created opportunities for himself. So, you know, again, it's he's another guy that's been fun to watch. What have the surprises been, whether it's a player or two or a position group or anything? Well, surprises. Um, I don't know. I, I just think the I think the willingness to learn. I, I don't know if it's a surprise. It's it's a very different group. Uh, we probably only have what less than a handful of guys that have ever really played a full season in, in full games. Uh, so it's all new to everybody. They're young, uh, but they're very energetic. They're eager to learn, they great competition. Um, the leadership of this group has been, I don't know, maybe in my career is as good as I've seen. Um, you know, their willingness to teach young people and uh, it takes a lot of time and a lot of patience to want to do that. And I give those older guys, you know, Ryan and, and you know, even Colby at times, you know, just being able to, to relate to those guys to, to what it takes to play defense. And I think it's been fun to watch. What's been the process of, of trying to replace Annie? Um, well, I, you know, we're really replacing the majority of our defense. So I, I think, you know, you're just trying to find all the parts. And uh, I think they're there. You know, I think we have good parts, uh, actually. And I, I think we're just trying to sort out who and when and how many and all of those kinds of things. And I think we're still in that process. I, I don't think we've, we've gotten to that point where we know exactly who and what and when and how many, um, you know, at this point yet. So, uh, but that's also, I think, exciting to me. It's a lot of competition and, and uh, you know, we'll get it sorted out. The players will help sort that out and uh, we'll get it sorted out on our end. Do the parts fit what you guys have done the last few years or is there changes Around personnel, uh, there's changes. Yeah. There's been changes around personnel. Um, you know, care share. Uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Or, um, but you know, we, we've uh, you know obviously got a lot of D linemen and, and you know linebackers and those kind of things. So we're sorting through it all. Um, you know, uh, I think still the reality of it is is how we play. You know, I mean that's been the biggest emphasis in trying to teach guys that are new here and. Um, you know, running to the football and the passion in which we play defense and, you know, uh, everyday attitudes and those kind of things, you're still in that process. And, and that's still the most important thing to me. What you, types of additional steps of progress have Isaiah Lee made since? No, uh, I, I think just kind of, you know, again, I think those guys grow up, to be honest with you. You know, I, I think that's the reality of Rob. I think those guys, man, all of a sudden we're getting close to the edge and the sand's running out of the hourglass and now everything's really, really important and we sort it out and, man, I got to play like crazy and study like crazy. And they, they take all the things that they've learned and, you know, that's what he's done. He's had a great offseason, tremendous offseason. Have you seen Hummel and Rose play at all very much? 
just on some clips, you know, at the edge, you know, you get to see him afterwards or whatever. But, um, you know, it sounds like, you know, obviously with Jake's statistics, but mm -hmm. um, haven't got to actually see, just see clips of him that somebody will stick a, you know, a clip or two in my face. And But it's fun to watch those guys. It's great to hear any the other night. And, you know, all the scouts come through, so we get a chance to touch base with them. Um, they let us know how everybody's doing and, you know, that kind of thing. So that's been, that's been, that's probably the closest thing we have to, to seeing at all. Obviously, you've got Anthony and Bo back at the same mm -hmm. position, Anthony from corner. Right. Who or how has there kind of been some progression and growth from some of the younger players at that third spot? Well, you know, that's another reality, too, is it's a growing position for Anthony. I mean, it's the first time he's been back there. Bo did not play. You know, he played towards the end of the season. But, you know, he's still just a young guy. And so that's growth. You know, you're still watching those two guys grow, even though they're names that, man, you've seen them out there running around. They, they still are, are new at that position. You know, I think, you know, the Trace, Trey Howard and, and Travion McGee, and I, I just think some of those guys have done a good job. Um, you know, I hate picking out names. Coop's done a good, Jeremiah Cooper, all those young kids. They're all battling for the same spots. You know, Blake Thompson and, um, you know, Mason Chambers. And, you know, there's about six or seven of them there that we're just trying to, again, maneuver around parts for parts and, you know, figure out who the, who the best group is and then what's the, you know, pair and the spare. So we, we're still... Still working through that as well. How have Orion and Reader kind of meshed as veterans, but coming at it from, you know, Orion being a veteran in this program, yeah. but Reader a veteran at Delaware? Yeah, I think all those guys, all those guys have moved from the back of the room to the front, you know, and I think that's, a, you know, that in order to do that, you have to be special. You know, you can't go from the back of the room in any program and be in the front of the room and not have done something and survived and, and persevered and been through tough times and uh, you have some kind of story to tell. And I think all of those guys, the willingness that I see is is for them to share their story with the rest of the team. And that's leadership. That's priceless. That's that's not when coaches are around. That's, you know, in the dark, as we would say. And I think those guys have been so willing to do that. Um, and I appreciate them because I, I think they all know they need everyone else. And I think that's part of leadership, too. When you can recognize the fact that, hey, I can't do this by myself, man, that's real leadership in anything. And, uh, you know, I think that group has embraced that concept and, and trying to do it as a team. And, and I, I really respect them, and, and I'm, I'm thankful and grateful for them. Are you talking about the linebacker group in general? I'm talking Those about two. our leadership guys. Okay. You know, I'm talking about Anthony Johnson and yep. you know Kobe Reader and, and Will McDonald and guys that have gone from the back, Anthony and that whole crew that have gone from the back of the room. Ov, I mean, they all got stories. And Kobe Reader, like man, what a story he's got to get here to this point. And willingness to share that and, and share what you know and with the other guys and realize you can't do this by yourself. Um, a lot of respect for him. Have you guys been playing ones versus ones? I know last year you did. Oh uh, yeah, mix and match. Coach yeah. just changes it up all the time. Ones, yeah, it's a, it's an ongoing. Yeah. Just we're, and I'm, you know, the same thing. The ones, ones are ones one day, and some are different right. ones the next day. So it, it gets to be quite a, you know, there's a lot of shuffling going on to get our best players reps. But uh, it's been good. We've had a really, I, I'm, uh, I'm, I don't know if I'm ever pleased, but uh, I'm, I'm excited about what our guys do every day. That I'm excited about uh, the the attitude and effort and the want to um, man, it's impressive. What would it take to face you? Um, I don't know. I, I just you know a lot, but yeah. uh, in reality though, I, I think you're always striving for perfection. You know, and that's my job. My yeah. job is to is to get it to try to be perfected. Perfected. Is it ever that? No. But if you fall short of perfection, you got a shot. But if you're just aiming, you know, for average, right. falling short of that's not very good. And. Um, I think at times last year we, we were average on defense, and that's not the standard here. That's not what we believe in, and you know we have to play every single game and, and play to our best. So, you know I'm I'm the guy, the bad guy that's always trying to strive for perfection and try to get everything perfect, and knowing that that's probably not the case, but something short of that's going to be okay. It's going to be enough.